Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 52. In this tutorial we're going to close off this section of development with uh, the AI and menus by creating a credit screen and a splash screen. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I want to start by uh, doing the splash screen and I mentioned quite a while ago in the series that a splash screen is basically just like an introduction scene and some games have a couple some just have one some don't even have any they just kind of get straight into it uh, but basically what we're going to do for a splash screen here is it's going to be the first scene that will load into our game when we eventually shift around all our scene numbers uh, but it will take us into our main menu so let's start by going to file and we'll go to new scene and we'll save that scene and in the scenes folder we'll just call it splash now this can be as intricate and as complicated as you like i'm just going to go with something simple which is going to be kind of like a logo fading in and then fading out and then taking us to our main menu so in order to do so i'm going to go game object ui and raw image and i'm going to anchor the position stretched across both directions and zero out all the numbers so as it covers the screen change it to black uh, next we're going to take the canvas and we're going to resize it to standard 1920 by 1080 and 0 0.5 on the match and next thing i'm going to bring in the logo now you can use any logo you want there's no point in me giving you the logo i'm going to use because you would never use it uh, so in textures, I'm going to drag and drop this and I'm going to place it in the middle of my scene. So game object, UI, and let's go raw image, drag and drop onto the texture right there. And let's just quickly resize it. Let's use the rec tool just to size it and that should do. Let's get it in the center. And I'm going to turn the color alpha all the way off and then create that fading effect with the image. So obviously we've created fading effects with screens before, but you can do it with images as well. Well, you can do it with anything really. So let's go to animations and let's go to UI. Uh, let's create that quick animation. So that's going to be create and splash UI. And we will press record, set the first keyframe. So we're going to reset that alpha back to zero. So it loads in as zero. We'll fade it in over the course of a second. So set the alpha as 255. And then we we'll leave it there for probably five seconds and then fade it out again. So by scene 360, which is six seconds. So one second for fade in, five seconds for staying as it is. We just need to reset the alpha back to 255. Just so as it stays consistent, you can see the keys here, it resets here. So all of this here, the alpha is going to be 255. And to fade it back out again, 420. And change the alpha back to zero. Stop the animation, or stop recording, I should say. And then click on animation itself and untick loop time. So if I press play now, we should get an indication of what the splash screen looks like. Yeah. Perfect. That should fade out. Cool. So now we just need to write a script which will take us from our splash screen to our main menu. And it's a real, real, real simple script. So let's go to our scripts, UI, right click, create C sharp script. We'll have this as splash to menu. And it's not loaded it for some reason let's try again there we go splash to menu so let's get rid of update and the annotations because we don't need them what we do need though is using unity engine dot scene management semicolon and i believe scene one is the is it scene one or scene zero um i keep forgetting Okay, so currently scene zero is the main menu, but that will all change a little later on, probably not too far from now. Uh, but while we're here, let's add open scenes. So splash is going to be four at the moment. So 
let's now, in here, we need to say after a certain amount of seconds that we need to go to our main menu. So that's got to be done in a start in a coroutine. So we're going to type start coroutine, and in brackets we can type anything here. Uh, so let's call it um, proceeding to menu. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon. And now what we have to do is write that coroutine. And that's just going to be as simple as saying we wait for six seconds and then take ourselves to the menu. So I am numerator and proceeding to menu. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. Yield, return new, wait for seconds. And we'll say six with a semicolon. And after that, we'll say scene manager dot load scene zero, semicolon, and save. So there's no variables in this. It will just basically take us straight to our main menu. Now, we don't really need an extra object in here. We may as well just attach this to the main camera uh, because that's all this scene is going to contain. So let's save that. Press play and just make sure that it does indeed take us to our main menu. So it should fade out any second. Ah, right. So one thing I noticed there is it's actually seven seconds, isn't it? Let's change that to seven, resave because it fades in for a second. It's there for five, fades out for another second. That'd be why. So let's try that once again. Just make sure it is um, is okay. And we should be fading now. Excellent. There we are, so it's taken us right here. So now let's get this credits working. Now, there's always different ways of doing credit scenes. And one of the most classic ones is just having a scrolling uh, image across the screen or up the screen, I should say. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to stay in this scene we're in and we're going to hold control and press D on the splash screen. Just duplicate it. And you'll notice it's called splash one now. So let's rename it to credits and let's go into credits and it's going to be identical. At this point, we're going to remove the splash to menu script from the main camera. And we're also going to remove the image, which is the logo. So now we're back to just having a standard black screen. Uh, let's go file, build settings and add open scenes. So credits is now scene five. Now we can do this, I say a multitude of ways. I'm gonna go fairly quick with this. Um, in fact, while we're here, yes, we did set the canvas. So let's go game object UI and let's go text. Uh, change the text to white and let's increase the size of the box. I'm going to align it to the right and increase the font size to maybe 50. And let's have that. Uh, can we bold that, can we? Mm, I'm not sure whether bolding is a good idea. We'll have it italic. Italic should do the trick. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to use this text to say position. So we'll say lead developer um, main programmers. And then we'll have a couple of those with sub grammars. You know, obviously if you've got a couple more people, you would obviously have different positions. Um, modeling. Uh, so we've got maybe one person for modeling. And then let's have someone for audio. In fact, we'll have two people for audio. And special thanks. Uh, so let's extend this upwards so we can see all the names there. Cool. Let's duplicate that and bring it over to this side to roughly about there. Let's have that aligned to the left. Let's turn it back to normal. Uh, I might change the color to a slightly gray color. There we go. So now let's put everyone's name in. So me, 
main programmers, let's say Boris, Boris, I don't know. And then we'll have Fred, Fred, you know, what a great name. Um, who else can we have? Jose Tron, just, just because, I don't know. I'm just making up names here as I go along. Mr. Unity. And how far are we down? How many more do we need? I think that's it, isn't it? Um, Sub-programmers, Jason K, just because. Um, let's also have Doris, whoever Doris is. Modeling can be um, Max Pedal. Audio can be John May and April June. <laughs> I don't know. Um, one thing is for certain though, we just need to bring that down a little more. And special thanks can be Mrs. Vegas. So now both of these, let's position, in fact, we'll have that as names. Uh, both of those can now be dragged below the scene. So how do we do this now? Well, we could actually attach two animations to this, um, or you can attach the same animation. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, at least I think that will work. So let's go into UI once again, and let's take uh, the position. And we want to animate this scrolling up the screen. So let's go to animation. Let's click on create, credit, scroll, and let's press the record. And start with the position on the Y, which is going to be, in this case, minus 1053. And we'll have this scroll over the course of, let's say, 10 seconds, just to keep it short. So that would be frame 600. This is now going to be all the way up here to about there. So 970. So then we'll stop that. And let's just quickly press play just to make sure this looks okay for scrolling. Yeah, that'll do. So obviously take more time with it. It's scrolling up. That's all we really need right now. Um, so the actual credit scroll, let's untick loop time. And I think if we attach it to names as well, it should. Ah, now I think about it, it's going to. Yeah. So there we go. We've got both scrolling nicely. There's our credits. Obviously, if it's a lot longer, it's a lot longer. You just need to modify that. So now what we need to do is create a short script to take ourselves back to the main menu. So let's go to our scripts folder. Let's go to UI. And let's go to our splash script right there. Hold control and press D. And you will get an error, but that's fine. We're going to rename it to cred to menu. Obviously, cred is short for credits. And then let's open up that cred to menu and just rename this here, cred to menu. And then we can just rename this to 10 and resave. So what we've done there is we've used the same logic for our splashed menu to create the same thing to take us to our main menu from the credits. So we just need to apply that cred to menu to our main camera. And once again, that will take us to our menu. So before I test that out, let's go back to our main menu and make sure that the credit button works as intended. So main menu, yes, we want to save. And let's go to our menu controls and main menu control right there. And if you remember, that's how we've done it up to now. So let's copy from new game. Let's go down here paste that method and the coroutine, and we'll have this as credits, and we'll have that as cred start, obviously renamed to cred start. So we do everything we need to do, and we are basically gonna say scene five, I think it is. Save, let's double check it is scene five. 
and file build settings it is indeed scene 5 so let's go to our credits button and let's go to on click list is empty click on the plus main menu controls bring it over click no function main menu control and credits right there save the scene and let's press play so we should be able to click credits and go and view those credits cool and we should go back to our main menu any second perfect and let's just check everything else works as intended before we uh leave the tutorial there are we all good we are we've loaded into our game so far everything is going quite well with this just make sure that trophy doesn't unlock again so far so good perfect so like i said this is now probably the end of this arc of development so next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go much deeper into development. And um, I think we're going to start looking at some AI vehicles. So obviously vehicles that will drive around on their own. And then we'll probably look at start hijacking them so we can get into them and off we go on our own. So until that next tutorial, thanks very much for watching, guys.